Uh, this is Mr. G. We're working on SolidWorks, and one of the lessons is to make a turbine for an automotive application, I guess. Uh, but a lot of the drafting on the lessons are um, not detailed enough for me and for the students. So what I've done is I've taken one of the draftings. This is the uh, upper part of one of the turbines, and then uh, we're gonna. One of the students has a mistake in their drawing. But basically, uh, I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, so we're going to hand the phone over to uh, one of my students, and we're going to go right into here. Okay. All right. So basically, uh, yeah, try and uh, try and do it a little bit like that, so the glare. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So if you look here at the directions, right, which are here, they give you this drafting. And the problem with this drafting is that um, there's no measurement in between here. And so if you were to do this drafting, it would look, it would look like this. I'll just do it on a separate sheet right now, okay? If you were to do this drafting, it would start out by you have a, obviously you have a middle, okay? And sometimes, this is a good technique, like if you're confused about a, why a drafting's not working, you could just pull out another, another file and then just, um, come a little closer, yeah. And then just make sure it's focused. You could just mimic the drafting. So, let's see, so how much is this one, the inner part? Uh, we'll go back to this. What is this inner circle right here? I think it's like two. That's based on another drafting, which is up here. Uh, it's uh, point 0.6. Yeah. Okay. So perfect. So I just go back here. And this is point 0.6. Okay. So now another, there's going to be another uh, par, uh, circle. And that's the outer circle. And that would be uh, here. So the outer circle, what's this one? Three. That's three? I think, yeah. Okay, let's just double check. Three, yeah, perfect. Okay, so now we'll go back to here, and what I'll do is I'll put that in, so that's easy. Now, just so you can see the comparison, anything that's blue can move, right? And so you gotta make sure that it's all locked down, and this one's black and that, that moves. I'm oh, sorry, it doesn't move, right? So what we're gonna do is put in the smart dimension, and I'm just gonna put another, I'll keep it out here and I'll just say three. Okay. And oops, that's okay. That goes there. And this one here. And the only reason that this is on an angle and this is like this is just by preference. It's either way, they're both diameter. You could see the symbol of the diameter with the circle uh, with the line through it. Okay. And then now there's going to be a, a medium uh, circle that represents the edge of the turbine. Oops. Um, you see, in here it's got to end somewhere, not out there, it ends in here because the turbine, because the wing of the turbine comes in and you can see it in the directions here at that edge. And if you look, it's coming in. So let's see uh, here. So the edge right there, okay, how much is that? Well, the diameter of that is 1.77. So let's go back and let's put a dimension in. And as we said before, this moves to any position or at a diameter until you take uh, a measurement on it. And we could put this measurement right here, and we could say one point, okay, it, it, I hit the wrong button, 1.77, okay. And usually you would have the larger one before that. And then this one actually should go, let's, let's take this out for a second, and we'll redo it. And uh, we can, we'll take this here, and I really should put that here. So they're all kind of together. Oops, 0.6, okay. So now they're all together and they're all like, a, you know, make sense and this and that. Okay, so there you go. There's the beginning of a practice drafting of the thing. Okay, so now the only thing is, is that um, these, these circles in, in here, uh, they are not part of your drawing. They are just reference, which is super important. 
So for our drawing purposes, I'm going to make this one, this one, and this one, they're all going to be for construction. And it's a one click and they become dotted, dotted lines. And now they're no longer part of the drawing, they're just referenced. They're not part of the object. Exactly. Okay, two thumbs up for that. Okay, so now what we're going to do um, is uh, we're going to take the, uh, the drawing and we're going to say, okay, what are some of the measurements that they want? Okay, well, the first thing they want is from, from the top here down to here is going to be uh, 0.67. There's going to be a, a point that they want, okay? So let's say, okay, so let's take a point and I'll just put the point uh, here, okay? So now there's just a point sitting there just doing nothing, right? Now from here, from the center to here, that point, that distance of that point is going to be 0.67, okay? And that is represented right here. Now I know the lines are getting a little confusing, but that's okay. I can move some stuff around so that it's not in your way. Uh, I could put this one, yeah, we'll just leave it there. And then this one, I could put it, I could put it like this, okay? Uh, Michael, do me a favor, can you close that door? I don't know what's going on over there. That's some teaching going on in some other rooms. <laughs> okay, all right, now here's the problem. When I go to click on this, you notice that I can move it left or right, but not up and down. And that is a fundamental problem. And I need, to, I need to fix that. And if you go back and you look, here's the flaw that I have with the drawing. There's only a measurement from top to bottom, but there's no measurement going this way. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my own measurement in because that is really unacceptable, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna say, okay, well, from here to here, going this way, I'm going to just make up a measurement, let's say 0.10, okay? You really need that, and the reason why, here's how you know, look, it's black, it won't move. Nothing will move. Now if I take that out, we saw that it slides back and forth, so this is the proper way to do it, okay? Uh, you know, my friend here, Zach, who runs this website, uh, is not really my friend, I don't even know him, but it's a great website. <laughs> But, um, and I never met him, never communicated, no emails, nothing. It's great, but it's flawed. Uh, one of my students said uh, it's outdated. Well, there is no outdating on proper drawings. So it's not so much that it's outdated, it's that the drawings have flaws in them. And that's okay, because I'm going to show you how to fix them. That's no problem. Everything else is pretty cool about the website. So, now the next thing they want is they have another dot here, but before I get to the second dot, let's crank this up. Let's go to like 400% so you can see it. Before I get to the second dot, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my first arc in, which is the lower arc, okay? So let's go and take a look at that. So I go over here and I say, okay, they have something called a center point arc. You click on it, right, and you click the center first. And then, oh sorry, not there, that's my fault. Center point arc, click the center of this, and then what you'll click is the, the side where you're trying to attach to. Oh, it's going the wrong way, my bad. One more time. Okay, click here, and click there. So now I've got this arc, right? Now, it's locked in over here and it's locked in over here, but what's the problem? How come it keeps moving back and forth? It slides within those two barriers, but why does it keep moving? Because I didn't put my radius in. What is the radius from there? And you can see that you might recognize it. From there, straight out is 0 .062. And so I'll just put that in, 0 .062, enter. And now you'll notice that it's black. So you can't move it around, that's it. Okay, even the ends are black, so this is not gonna move. Okay, that's a fully defined line, or an arc, okay? So let's go ahead and put the next part in. Now there's another point, 
and we can zoom in and that point is somewhere around here. Now you see it's trying to grab on. I don't want that, so I move away from it. Boom, pow, I have a, a dot. Now the problem is it can move anywhere. That's the problem right now. But what I can do is I can, I can lock it down. So you're gonna need two points of reference, right? Okay, how you doing cameraman? Tiger. Okay, you're gonna make it. It's a long explanation, but you're gonna be a better engineer because of it. Okay, so um, actually let's take, let, hold on. Keep filming, switch over here. Okay, now if you notice over here on the drawing, what I did was I, I made this drawing because I knew that that dot, this is the first dot I made, I needed a, an amount going horizontal. I think I point point ten in, in, in the, the drawing that I just did. It was just an example and you could see that I have the vertical is point six seven and the horizontal is point ten, and that gives you your reference to put it out, to put your arc in from here, locked on, locked on, from here to here, and point your point, your point six two, right? So that locks it in, and now we're getting to the second point, and that's where we tune in right now. So that was a good break for viewers. Okay, so now we're back, all right? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm going to dimension this one. Now, if you look in the drawing, what it wants is this point zero 0.08 on an angle, which doesn't make any sense, because watch, if I do that, that really doesn't lock it into place. So let's say I put these two in, and I do the angle that like they're, like they're talk, talking about, point zero 0.08, right? Now look at it. Look. All it does is make an arc. I, I can't, look, there it is. There it is. It just follows it around. So does that really lock it in? No. This is a terrible dimension. Okay. So we're gonna do, we're gonna delete that, and we're not gonna use it. I'm sorry, Zach. You really that was irresponsible of you. Um. Okay. So now, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take we're gonna do the same thing we just did before, right? Except I'm gonna use this as reference. So I'm gonna go up vertical by let's say 0 0.08, which is kind of what he was looking for, right? But we're also going to go horizontal by a certain amount as well. Let's say just, well, it's kind of on an angle, so we'll just get 0 0.02. And that kind of gives us sort of what he was what he was looking for. It's not, you know, it's not terrible what he was looking for. It's just the way he went about it was is not correct, okay? Because it leaves too many open ends. Now I can't move it. Okay, so now I can put my next arc in. The next arc is center point arc, click on the point, that's your center, click on the outer part, and click on the inner part, and now you've got your arc. And what do you notice? Again, it stays in the boundaries, but it's blue, so it moves. So what do we have to do? Same thing we did before. We gotta put the radius in, okay? And in this case, the radius is the same. That's what they're asking for. The radius is the same, but the where the center starts is different. And that's why you get a space in between the arcs. So 0 0.62, enter, and there you go. There's your final. Now we're almost done, but there's one problem left. You can never leave an open, you can never leave an open, um, an open drawing. Let me just get one thing of reference. Let me just see if it's five. Okay, no problem. Let's go over here for a second. So, if you notice, this outer circle is a reference circle, right? But over here, it's not. Over here, it's locked in. There's no break in the circle here, and there's no break in the circle here. And how do I achieve that? And if you know anything about SOLIDWORKS, you know that you have to have a closed, closed area in order to extrude something. So, just to prove it to you, I'm going to go to extrude right here and you notice that what it's trying to do is it's trying to figure out where you want this to happen. So if you, it's making these, this double layered um, feature and this is not what we want, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to bring it back to normal to me and very simple, we're going to use our uh, center point arc again, 
except here is the center. And then I'm gonna click here, and I'm gonna click there. And that gives us that closed part of the loop right there, okay? And we're not done. We're gonna do one more. I'm gonna say center, and then we're gonna say click, and, oh, okay, it went around the, the other way, that's okay. I don't know actually how to control that. I never remember, that's okay. Uh, so center, and we're gonna click here. Nope, it went the wrong way again. Okay, hold on. So click and zoom in, center. Okay, seems like, hmm. It keeps on picking the wrong direction. Okay, that I'm not so sure about. Is there an option here? Is that why? That's, this is a one, two, three. This is a tangent. This is, I don't see an option for how to change that, but that's okay. Click. Okay, this is what we're gonna do, no problem. Uh, I'm going to take a circle I use a circle instead, center, and then I'll just click on there. And then what I'll use is I'll trim it. I'll trim the outside. And then make sure that you've trimmed everything except for that one area. So it's the same idea, it's just an arc. Okay, so now I can go ahead and I could say extrude. And we've got a bit of a problem here. Let's see, why is this? It's extruding the outside. Why is that happening? Okay, so let's find out. I don't see exactly why it's doing that. Can you close that door? Let's take a look. Going that way, sketch plane. Let's see. Uh, the only that's that's closed. That's closed. That's closed. There, nothing else is open. These are just dots. Okay, it should work. That is odd. It's going around the outside. Why is it doing it? Uh, okay. Sketch contour. Selected. Okay, we have to figure out why this is happening. Okay, so let's edit for a second here. Okay. Let us see, is it is it closed? That's maybe the problem. That looks like it's closed to me. It might be open. All right, it looks closed to me. I'm pretty sure I'm locked on there. Let's take a look at the inside. Whenever you have a problem, oh, there we go. It was open. That was the problem. I'm gonna pull this in and lock it on, and that's it. That's the, that should be the end of that story. Okay, so let's get this squared up one more time, and let's go to features, extrude, perfect. Whenever you have an open contour, that's what happens. And now I can extrude to any, any height I want, and that's the base. There you go, that's the base of